I want to show you how to do this effect right here. What it do, what, what it does, what, what it is, what, what it was, what, what it do, what. Hey guys, Buzzy B here. Welcome back to the channel. Channel that we talk about everything regarding filmmaking, you know, from cameras to, you know, the actual shoots, you know, camera equipment, uh, everything film related. So I think you're the right channel. All right, so guys, so uh, as you've seen the effect, I didn't know what to call this effect, but you know, I started to call it a, you know the window effect, right? So I want to show you guys exactly how to do this effect. It's very very simple, so it's not gonna be a very long tutorial, like like normal. All right, so are you ready? Do you want to see? Let's just get into it. All right, guys, so we're in DaVinci Resolve, right? So. I've muted, you know, the audio so it doesn't, you know, distract us. All right, so as you can see, I've already made a cut in this clip. So I've made a cut over there and I've made a cut over there. So how do you make a cut? You can maybe, you know, just select your blade tool or you can type in B and it will then take you to your blade tool, right? Okay, so I've done that already because this is the part that I, that I feel that I want to, you know, have the effect on. And I'm just going to show you guys quickly. This is the part where he... You know puts his hand down so it's very important that you, you know try and figure out certain part in your footage you know you need to take you know the beat also into, into consideration right so that's the part that I've selected right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this clip all right so uh, let's click on it alt then drag it up so I'm going to drag it up once, then I'm going to drag it up another time, one more, then I'm just going to take it up one more time, right. So now that we have like all together three duplications, you know, apart from the original clip, right. So what you want to do is go to the beginning of this. Just drag this down so you guys can see properly. So it's the beginning of that, right? So now we're gonna count four frames to the right. So it's one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna work on this one. I'm just gonna switch these ones off. And then we're gonna take this one back. Right, and I'm gonna switch this one on. So it's one, two, three, four. And then we can take that one there. Then another four, one, two, three, four. And we take this clip over there. Right now. Well, we can switch it on. All right, so you're not, now you're done with you know the first part of it. So now we're gonna have to go to the last part, right? So now we're going backwards, right? So that's usual arrow keys, those one, two, three, four. And we just take it in. Then one, two, three, four. Take it in, one, two, three, four, and take that in. All right, so it's more like a pyramid that you're kind of building, right? Okay, so, but now, what you need to do is, and I'm just going to enlarge it so you guys can see properly. From these clips over here, you know, from, you know, um, the first duplication, right? I'm just going to scale this down. And I want you to look carefully what it does here, right? So go to your transform, your zoom, and I'm just going to scale it down. So now you can see it creates a window within, you know, the big window, sort of, so to speak. So I'm going to go to, let's make this, uh, say, 650. All right. Cool. So now we're going to the second duplication, all right? And we're going to bring this one down to maybe let's say 400 okay and then the last one we're gonna take this one down to maybe 220 you know really does, it doesn't really matter guys you're gonna have to play around with it now remember you don't necessarily have to you know only use these amounts of duplications if you want to create more 
you want more window effects in your overall effect you can create more duplications but for the sake of this tutorial I'm only going to use these ones right so now if I play that back right as easy as that and now we can even do it on the beat super right all right so that in a nutshell that's the effect guys but i mean you can take it a step further you can maybe you know you can play around with it and you can put any effect on here i'm just gonna you know just do that if you go to your uh your effects right your effects over here you can put any effect maybe you want to put in let's do a camera shake do a camera shake on that one and we do a camera shake on this one right and then we just see what it looks like awesome you see the shake effect that it has so you can play around with it and basically put any effect on your clips any effect that you would like to use so yeah guys that's uh my window effect <laughs> um hope you guys liked it um play around with it make it your own like i said use any kind of effect that you want that you want to put in those clips um you can play around with it. if you want to change maybe you know the color grade of each and every clip and have different colors you can do it also that way so it's up to you you know you just need to think creatively and you know make it your own effect so yeah guys like i said thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it's a very short uh video just thought you know let me show you guys this effect and maybe you guys can you know find it useful in one of your videos and uh please guys don't forget to subscribe if you have thank you so much give the video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell because we are trying our utmost best to do this on a weekly basis on that note you know what it is adios peace